Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So let's discuss another interesting concept of uh, counting related to counting that is uh, something which is known as permutation permutations so first thing is what is permutations so it's nothing but an arrangement an arrangement of objects and in different definite order okay so let's start making sense of it now consider very simplest example consider you have one object let me call this a how many arrangements are possible like if an object is in front of you then really it is in front of you it is in order so that is it's it's in front of you no you can't change it you can't make another other way of putting it or if you have got a uh, you know let's say you have a chair one chair in room so you want to arrange it in an order you can't arrange it you don't have two things if it's sitting in front of you that's its order you can change as its place from one place to another but really you can't change it with another object inside uh, but now let's say you have got two objects uh, now things will get interesting now suppose you have got two objects so let's say a and b are two objects sitting together now you can make another arrangement of these two objects as well this is b a so if you have got two objects then you can either put them in like a b or you can put them as b a so there are two possible you know arrangements two possible different arrangements okay now consider if you have three objects a b c and how many ways can you arrange these three objects so like this is one arrangement a b c or if you which no you say hey I mean I want to change it like A C B then another person can no hey I can put it like C A B and this way uh, you can make some other arrangements as well like like you have B A C and uh, you can also have C B A or maybe hey I can put it like B C A so I think these six are the possible arrangements you don't have another one so like someone can put it at A B C or I can have this arrangement or I can arrange these three objects like these or these or these or this one or this one so if I have, I have got let's say three different chairs in my room like let's say C1 C2 C3 so how many arrangements were these like one two three four five six so like six possible arrangements were there if the objects were three so i have three chairs i can arrange them in uh, six different ways if i have got four objects now the things will get crazier if i have four objects like say, say a b c d so now now like this is one possible arrangement but someone can say hey i can put it like uh, a b d c someone else comes to know hey i mean there is this one as well an arrangement you can have d a b c you can keep on and you you have to trust on me that there will be 24 possible different arrangements if you are taking four objects so if you have got four chairs in your room c1 c2 c3 c4 then you can arrange them in 24 different ways on first day if you are having guests on your home and you want a particular setting then you have 24 choices you can have one of these 
you know choice uh, to settle these chairs okay uh, and say the let's say these are different chairs if the chairs look like say that it really doesn't uh, have any nicer impact so uh, so what we get from here we get that if i have only one object then i have only one arrangement like here i am putting objects and here i am putting arrangements arrangements are you can say permutations different arrangements i mean we, we mean permutations if you have one object you have only one arrangement possible two then you can have two like if you had three you saw that you could arrange three objects in six different ways four then you could put in 24 if you had five it will be 120 and uh, if you have six then it will be 720 and if you have n objects then it will be n factorial now you might be thinking what is this n factorial so this n factorial is nothing but very simple species and this is defined like this n factorial means n into n minus 1 and n to n minus 2 till this you are 1 okay so if you want to check if you have one object then you need one factorial that means 1 if you need if you have two objects then that means two factorial that means 2 into 1 that is 2 so two possible different arrangements if you have three uh, objects then the arrangements or the permutations are going to be three factorial three two one so this is going to be six if you had four objects then you could calculate their different permutations by four three two one this is 24 similarly if you had five you could calculate this five factorial which is five into four into three the two into one so this is going to be 120 similarly if you add 6 you calculate 6 factorial 7 factorial so on so forth don't forget that if you if you have one object then we are considering all possible arrangement of this one if you have two then all possible of two three all possible of three if you have four then all possible arrangements of these four, five then all possible arrangements of these five so if you have n objects okay and you want different permutations of these n objects taking all at a time you mean you want to arrange all of those so then your different arrangements are different permutations are going to be n factorial which is n n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 so on like 1 till 1 so that means people say this way the number of permutations permutations of n different objects n different objects is given by is given by this way n factorial which is equal to n n minus 1 n minus 2 till 1 that's it so if you have six objects just put six seven objects just put seven so you can vary this according to your objects don't forget one key key point and that is you are taking the permutation or different arrangements of all the objects like if you have five objects like these circle let's say and uh, for example i have triangle let's say the other one is this so these are my five objects i want to find out all possible arrangements of all of these five you could have an option like you say hey i i will not change these two i'll just be changing these three if you're doing this way then that will be another concept when i say n factorial this means that you are taking all of these and you are changing the positions of all of these. Thank you.